make some noise, yo, because I'm back with some more Neo. And we're going to be doing the Demon of Mount Hay. Uh, now, just before we get started, guys, I just want to go to my status. I got hard up to 30. It puts spirit to 17. And I'm probably going to put some more, um, maybe into body. I might put a couple into body and a couple into skill. Um, and then maybe into some water magic. It's a bit of um, a bit of a spread out kind of deal, guys. Um, and just to remind you guys about the equipment. Still got my Warrior of the West set, but I've refashioned my uh, old uh, William to make him with his uh, pretty much vanilla armor. That's pretty much what he looks like in the Legends and all that kind of stuff. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Got some pretty nice armor going on now. Um, next up, I have to be skills. I did get an extra few things. I got Tachi Arts, which are in close combat. Um, damage increased to 5% against enemies with full life, so you get that extra bonus when you start off. I also got, um, was it here? Pretty sure it was. It's one of these skills. A cornered tiger. When your health drops to 30% or lower, close combat damage increases to another 2% and that scales, so it's actually 4%. And I also got this one as well. Is it raw? No, I want to get Cornered Boar. When your health drops up to 30% or lower, receive damage is reduced by 10%. So that's some pretty good stuff there as well. I did unlock a, a magic as well, but I actually can't use it. Not that one, I think it was. This one. A kick eye, or Talisman Kick Eye. So it allows you to ready two Kick Eye Talismans. Um, creates a compact barrier that purges yokai around pollution and, and enhances key recovery. Bloody good, I just don't have enough jutsu for it. So, as you can see, this is it here. It gives you that little aura. Will come in damn handy. Actually, I might just have a quick look at that before we head out. Ready jutsu. Is there anything I can get rid of? I guess I could drop these two, actually. That might be a good idea. I think that gives me everything else that I need. Weakness. I think I might go with that one and try and... Did I get the sloth talisman? Pretty sure I did. I think it's... What the shit? Oh, there it is there. Yeah. Got the sloth. So I'm going to try and combine a few things together. Steel, Sloth, actually I might swap that out for Kekai. Sorry guys, I know I should have done this before. And put Steel Talisman here so I can start my buff with that one. And I think that might be it for now. Might drop this out actually. For now. Pop on. Sure is my fire amulets because I've got 17. It's fucking heaps. Alright, so let's rock and roll. Alright guys and welcome back. Uh, first up we're gonna hit this uh hit the shrine up first. Uh, there are a few things. I'm not really 100% sure in this one, um, probably a few things I might miss on the way, but if I do, I'm, I'll let you guys know, but before we get into this, you're going to come across these things here. You want to destroy them, because they enhance, um, your enemies, uh, pretty much the defenses, they give them like a slow health regeneration as well, so you want to try and take those things out first. We've got ourselves a few, uh, Bastard guys, he'll try and draw one of them or well, both of them away and try and destroy the crystal first. Oh fuck. Gotta love that. You two at the same time, you bastard guys. You got a whole heap of shit there. Pick that up. 
Let's pick this one up here too. So you pretty much want to try and take out those crystals first, guys. It's a, pretty much a must. It's like saying there's something right here. I have to remember off by heart. I don't have any Kadama sense things, so I have to just remember off by heart first. Now, there are a couple things we're going to do here first. We'll take out this crystal first so we don't get drawn back to this one. And we'll try and draw this guy away too, so it's probably... We've got to do the cannon him in the eye and then just go straight for the... Uh, Go straight for the uh, crystal, so just to get there for an extra few buffs. Aim for his eye, crush their weak spot, wait for him to go down, and then just attack this thing. And it puts them down straight away, so that's pretty much the tip I'm going to give to you guys right now. Because that guy can be a real pain in the asshole if you don't watch it. Be careful too, because there's a hole right here as well, so you want to just pick up the stones. You can drop down there, we are eventually going to go down there. It's not quite yet. There is a Kadama right there, as you can see, but we will come back here in a little bit. We can't actually go on there now. There is another way around, so we'll show you that little way around in a bit. Now first up, so pretty much where we came from was up there. This way is back towards the beginning of the game. So don't really need to go down there yet. Or any more actually. I keep thinking there's like a Kadama around the corner and shit. Oh fuck. Suck it loser. No, I'm pretty sure there's a Kadama right here, nice. First Kadama. Can pick him up. Now obviously if I do miss something guys, please let me know, I will try to remember where all the Kadamas are, of course. And pick this item up here. Another talisman. Head on up around here, and this is pretty much the ladder where we pretty much need to go, just have a quick... I'm just gonna get my bearings, this place can get very fucking confusing. Been there, been there, been there, okay we'll make our way down this ladder. Um, Pretty much, if you, you can actually go down here and avoid that big dude to start with, but what we'll try, it's actually easier to go downstairs because you can actually destroy the crystal from down that hole. So if you want to go this way first, there's actually a couple ways to go. A little uh, chest here. Let's pick up some more spread stones and elixir. That's all pretty good too because I've already got... Nine looks as to start with so Pick this item up here, don't forget this one too. Just a couple of arrows that might come in handy a bit later. Now this is where that not Oh Son of a bitch. Oh, bitch. Not as strong as I thought I was. Get this item to watch out for that ambush of that guy, so. Pretty sure that was it. I'm pretty sure this is a. Trap. Oh, maybe not. I thought this was a trap. Another well, relics, and these are pretty much the, um. We're going to actually come up against these guys in a bit. Just not quite yet. For the sake of war down, there should be a wall just here. There's no actually no guys to do so. Pretty sure this one, as you can see his eyes, they're like, not in the blue and they're not like red, so they're, I think they're yellow. It's pretty hard to explain, but I'm going to go red. And see how his eyes go like that, that means it's red, so it must be blue. Or not, maybe just get shot. Oh, fuck, that took a lot of damage, didn't it? What the fuck's that? What the fuck's that? What the 
fucking bastard guy. So maybe I read that wrong because his eyes weren't quite red and they weren't quite passive. It must have been the yellow one. So that's just a tip for you guys so you don't have to fight him. Pretty sure I got that right the last time, though. Stupid me. We can come here first. Pick up this item. I, re I recommend it going this way first just because you can actually take one of them out before, so... I'm pretty sure it's these guys who are the weak-ass bitches. Yep, I won. Oh shit. Let's see if they actually come around. Oh fuck. Woo. Yeah, the other one did come around, he's gonna come around. Nope. Oh. Guessing that was that trap I was thinking about. But, oh, they usually come around. Only ones that pick that up, watch out for that ambush, I guess. Haha, <laughs> maybe I can get it from this side instead. Shit. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's in the corner. He can die. And that's pretty much it. If you guys fell down that hole, you would end up down with these three dudes. They're not really that hard. They just, they're just one of those dudes where it's like, they pack a bit of a punch if they can hit you with their magic. They do a lot of buffs and all that kind of shit, so it's not really that hard. You know, they're just not, not hard at all, guys, really. Yeah, I thought there was a Kadama down here. Oh, 85, holy shit. And that guy got killed and he was level 85. Maybe I can get some gear off this guy. Shit gear, oh really? Really shit gear actually. Demo must be wrong when it comes to those kadams. I thought there was one down here. He's got all purples, but he's only got 52, so. Maybe he wasn't in this room. Now there is a kadama down here somewhere. I thought he was down here. I don't have any kadama sensors, so. And this just takes you back up to this part here. Where if you guys remember before I said the door was locked. This is actually the room right here. And ta-da. That's pretty much how you make your way all the way around. So if you guys want to do that and get all that stuff, I'd be my guest. It's pretty much just through there. And I've got this like feeling in the back of my head that I've forgotten a Kadama somewhere. Well, I'll find out by the end of the thing, I guess. I can't remember anyway. Go this way, guys. Should be... Man, I'm like... Forgetting everything now. I know there's one here. There's the obvious one that we saw down from down there. So we got his ass. What there was like? Come around here, pick this up. Holy basalt. Salty. Pretty sure that was it for this area too. I think you can actually go all the way up. So once you've done that, you're pretty much set to move up, so let's go forward. 
Again, if I've forgotten something, hopefully it's not too bad. I think I just hit the side there too. I don't know, I've got this <laughs> I keep second guessing myself, but I'm pretty sure I've got I wish I had one of those Kadama since um Damn I don't have any of these two. Got Amrita sense. I'm pretty sure I'm still on lock when it comes to everything, so destroy the crystal as per usual uh, we won't go up there just yet because there is a shrine right here pick up the antidote pick up the shrine as well since we're here level, level up if you need to replenish all your shit I might just keep continuing on for now not sure where we're at right now for time, must be 15 or 16 minutes already, so we can't go much further. We'll probably clear this area first and then probably end it. So you want to go up this side first. We will leave that middle stuff for later because I thought there was a guy in there. Oh, I swear there was a guy in here last time. Man, I must be thinking of a different level. Oh, there is a guy right there. Do. Yeah, you can cross this bridge as well, you know you won't uh, get done for anything, but there is a guy hanging on this edge here too, so you want to make sure you take this guy out. Looks like he's going to come all the way around the tree. Yep, you can let me go all the way around, I guess. Aha, <laughs> <laughs> bugger. Oh, he's coming back. I thought I got him. Back for some more far out, this guy committed to the end. Boom, get out of here, sir. Pick up the powder and the warlord's armor. Now, there is a uh, a ladder around here somewhere. Pretty sure it was over this side. Maybe not. Maybe there's just a drop down there. You can actually go and fight this guy if you need to. Don't think there's anything else here, actually. You, I guess you don't have to fight this guy if you don't really want to, but... I guess it gotta. Oh, fuck. Come on, big buddy. Trying to get him to just move this way a little bit, that's all. Get out of that little pollution sense. That's what the kick guy's um, talisman's good for. Pushes all that shit out too. And Elixir. Gonna have a nice little... Weapon there, another demon's horn. And a couple more other things there now. We've got some more revenants here. And what else? What else? Level 80. Nice. Probably just leave that revenant for now, I guess. Got the young locks. I'm pretty sure we're coming up to a part. Gotta pick that up too, don't forget to get that one. I walked straight past that last time. Just a whetstone, nothing too big, but uh. Oh, yes, we got this one again. I do remember this part. I do, I do, I do. Um. 
first up you want to try and draw one of them away. We'll try and draw this guy away first. Oh shit. I didn't mean to do that. I was kind of hoping he'd just run up here. As you can see, if you watch his health, his health is returning. So we can kill him. We just need to draw him away, but that's all. As you can see, the defense is hardened and everything, so. I can still be killed and stuff, so thank God for that, but like I said before, it's not wise to to fight them like that, because I think there's another guy down there too. I think there might be two of them, so I'll hit this one up. We'll get the steel going, and we'll try and throw something in. Oh, shit. Just to try and draw them away if we can. You big bastard. Yeah, let me play down there and we were fucking trying to throw some stuff as we can. So for that. As you can see it puts it down straight away. Watch out for the hole too, I forgot to mention again. That hole can be quite fucking devastating if you don't watch yourselves. And that pretty much gets rid of that guy straight away, just like before. Pick those up. Pick you up, son. We'll head on, oh, we're gonna pick these up first. We will end up going down that hole anyway. Um, so don't fret if you don't if you don't want to miss anything. Pretty sure. Oh fuck, these little assholes again. I fucking hate these guys. Pick up his shit. All of his shit. Got a whole heap of handy shit, so I pretty much you can actually lure them into like not a trap, but you can lure them away into a corner. Even into this corner if you can, you just run kind of the opposite direction, just farm them into it. We'll probably grab this as well. And I do know there's another one around here somewhere. Right there. We got him up. What do we got here? 62. Shit. I'm pretty sure there's one in there too, but we're not going to head in there just yet because there are a few other spots we have to hit up first. I don't think we have to go this way just yet. Oh, actually, well, I guess you can. Might as well, but we'll, we'll end this one very soon anyway, guys, so... I'm pretty sure there's a Kadama right here. Little bugger. Pick this one up too. Because I'm pretty sure there is a... We won't head down there just yet. I'm pretty sure there's a... Yes, I'm pretty sure there's a shrine around here somewhere. Another Kodama as well. But what we're going to do in the next episode, guys, as you can see, there's a whole heap of guys down there. We have to take out another crystal as well. Here's the shrine right here. I think there was an item just here, so there we go. What we're going to do in the next one, guys, is go back to where that crystal was. Not in that, um, well, just out through there. But there's actually another way down here, which we will clear in the next video. We'll probably go back to where that other crystal was where we fought that long tongue guy um, go back down to that crystal side and I'll show you a way all the way around so you can clear the bottom side come back through here back up to the shrine and there's pretty much a shortcut that we need to unlock up there too that we will do in the next video as well uh, and hopefully have time to fight the boss too so anyway guys I will just leave it there's the first part of this uh, mountain done and I will see you guys all in the next episode. So please remember to support my channel. I'm your host, Noisy Boy. Thanks for coming on by. And as always, guys, stay noisy.